and time. Today's headlines are... Do, 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 do. Specialization grows. Do. Jamie's Italian demonstrates division of labor. Do, do. Specialization is a growing concept amongst economies and businesses across the world. Specialization is a situation whereby individual workers, firms, regions and economies concentrate on a particular task or on the production of a particular good or service. The advantages are a higher output. Specialization allows the labor force to improve their skills and to master the job they have to perform a more, at a more productive rate, which is another advantage, higher efficiency. Finally, it encourages exchange. It allows developed and developing country to exchange goods to decrease the gap. It can also bring a wider range of goods into the economy due to exchange. However, this does not come without risk. Specialization can lead to many disadvantages. If an economy requires the use of a specific scarce resource, when the resource runs out, they may suffer. Another point is that de de in Another point is that deindustrialization can occur. This is where factories close down due to importing of goods for a cheaper price. If the economy depends on that good, but it can be bought cheaper elsewhere, then the economy will struggle. Finally, countries such as Jamaica depends on a certain good to produce, e.g. bananas, which is a good they specialise in. Bad weather means no bananas. Without a go other goods to rely on, the economy will struggle. Specialisation brings about the concept of division of labour. This is the specialisation of labour where the production of pr process is broken down into separate tasks. Almost every workplace splits up the overall task into several separate tasks. Take car manufacturing. One worker doesn't make a whole car. One worker is allocated to one job and they repeat this job over and over. The concept increases the productivity that is a, the output per worker. It, incre it creates different occupations and after all, practice does make perfect. Division of labour does, however, bring about some disadvantages. For example, workers may find their jobs monotonous. Workers may also lose some of their skills due to repetitive nature of just one task. One business that uses division of labour on a daily basis is Jamie's Italian. So Sam, how does Jamie specialise at his restaurant and does he think it's a good idea? Well Ruth, I'm here reporting live right now in Jamie's kitchen in Huddersfield between KFC and McDonald's. Classic, I know. Now, many people may associate the division of labour with the manufacturing industry, but in fact, many restaurants use it. Jamie, how do you use, use the division of labour in your workplace? Well, Sam, I'm the executive chef, and the job, and my job is to make sure that everything here runs smoothly. There is Alejandra, my sous chef, Fritzel, my saucier chef, and Kirchhoff, my assistant chef. Um, Sansa, my passionate chef, and the other guy who's the rotisserie chef. And finally, the patissier. Oh wait, there's Bob, and he's the dishwasher. I think there's a few more, but they're not really important. Let's have a chat with Alejandro and see what he thinks of the concept of division of labor. I think it's a very good idea when all people are here. But when people not make it, I do two jobs. It is very hard because I don't know what to do. It's not my um, best thing. It's not your speciality? Uh, yes, yes. It's a very good point. When a crucial member of a team that specialises is not in work, it can be very hard to find a replacement that can perform to the level of the previous employee. There isn't much flexibility. Let's have a chat to Fritzl and see what his job is here at James Italian. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Mama Papa. I am the saucier chef. I make all the sauces for every dish. Here, try one. It is solid. Mmm, <laughs> very tasty. My sauce is combined with the other chef's food on a plate before Jamie checked it. Then the waiters take them away. This is a perfect example of how specialization works in any business or economy. Jamie, any words on what you think division of labor does in your restaurant? I think it creates a sense of teamwork in the kitchen and if every chef is an expert in the specific part of a dish they have to create then it will be perfect overall. It certainly is an advantage for my restaurant. I guess the man has spoken. Back to you Ruth.
Sam. That's all we've got for you today. I'll see you next time on Answer Time.